afternoon, everybody. I almost said good morning. We've got a high octane show for you today. So thanks for joining us here at Local on 2. I'm Larissa Wall and I have a new co-host today. Just joking, Laura will be back. We are starting the day with some major horsepower, though, because if you have a need for speed, all roads lead to Nashville. We are 157 days away from the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. To get us amped for the event, we had to sit down with the leader and CEO of Big Machine Label Group, Scott Borchetta. Thank you so much for being here, Scott. Thanks for having me. This, this is great. This is going to be fun. Tickets are on sale now. It is such a fun event. I was saying last year I couldn't make it because I was having my baby, so I'm so excited this year. A few few changes. Yeah. It's going to be at the Nashville Super Speedway. So tell us about the changes and what people can expect. Yeah, absolutely. The first three years of the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix, we were able to run through the streets of Nashville. But because of the new Titan Stadium build, that was really our central headquarters. So as a fan experience, I really think the Nashville Super Speedway will be better because the, the viewing from every seat in the house, you have a, a great track view, great facility. So it's, it's fans first always. And I think this experience will be fantastic. Oh my gosh, we're looking at some video. I mean, how can it not be? It is so fun. And as we said, the energy must be so amazing. Laura was there last year and said the tents were great. The sounds, just hearing everybody so excited. It was just a, a weekend that she will always remember. Now, IndyCar scheduled the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix to be at the end of the race. That's a big honor. So what does that mean to you? Yeah, now that we are the season finale, we will crown the champion for the IndyCar Series in 2024 in Nashville. So we're, we're so excited about that. You know, a lot of people pulling for our local boy, Joseph Newgarden, current Indy 500 reigning champion. And also Colton Herta is one of the great IndyCar drivers who now calls Nashville home as well. But yeah, all roads lead to Nashville for the champion this year for IndyCar. And let's talk about the fact that the Friday night event is still happening downtown. And you have a little secret that you want to tell people for exclusive. the very first time. This is a local on two exclusive. Breaking news. So we are going to have the pit stop competition return to Broadway. So seeing all the cars and the crews, and there's going to be money on the line. Oh. So this isn't going to be just for fun. This is going to be the real deal. And somebody will be crowned a champion on Friday night as far as the best pit crew team for the year. So that's going to happen. We're going to have our big Freedom Friday concert on Broadway. You know, so we're going to keep the party of Nashville very much involved with the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. I like that. Now, for those who don't know, maybe myself, what does the pit crew oh, uh, look question. like? I know what the pit crew is. Yeah. What does it look like when, with the competition? So you have a certain amount of guys that can come over the wall. In IndyCar, it's six. So they're going to see how quickly they can jump across the wall. They can't get into their pit stall until the car is already in the stall. They've got to get around, change two tires on the far side, then come back around, fuel up, and out of there. Oh my so gosh. they're going to try to get it done in less than 12 seconds, which is pretty fantastic. That's anxiety producing. How fast can you change a tire? Uh, I have a pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Speaking of honors, let's talk about this. You've had over 200 number one singles with Big Machine Label Group, over 220 million albums, but you're also an award-winning racer, which makes sense. You put the two loves together. What do you love so much about this sport? You know, it's, it's, you're always on the edge. And also, too, I would say it's a, it's a chess game at 180 miles an hour because you have to slow everything down. You, you want to... It's, it's reaction. You're not thinking about it, you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so you're so in the moment. And when you're on the edge and you know, from a competitive perspective, you know, there, there's nothing else like it. So. Mm. Do you think it will ever, and you might not know the answer to this, do you think it'll move back downtown at any point? Or you're not sure yet? We always hope that we can move back downtown. So, you know, honoring what the NFL needs to do with the Titans, et cetera, sure. make sure that stadium is up and running. Because once they move into the stadium, they're projecting 27. That means the new stadium will start to come down. So mm -hmm. it might be 28 before we can get back downtown. But that part of the footprint is so important for us. Sure. So until then, we're going to be racing at the Nashville Super Speedway. And again, fans first. It's going to be a, a great experience. OK, my executive producer just asked me a question in my ear. What is your favorite part of being behind the wheel? I know you talked about kind of the, the slowing the right. down. But is there a maneuver? Is there a moment that you feel kind of alive? Well, it's, that's a great question because you, you are so alive and you're so in the moment. And it's those close wins. You know, when you pass somebody in the last lap on the last corner and you're literally just, you, can you know, feel elbow it. to elbow. Yeah, you know, that's, 
it might sound crazy, but there's a huge sense of self-satisfaction when you're on the edge and you beat everybody else. Oh, but that's why you're a leader. It's your personality. I love it. Okay, last question. I know we touched upon, um, uh, excuse me, Freedom Friday being mm -hmm. back downtown. Any other little hints or, or secrets you can divulge Not about yet. what Freedom... Okay. I promise it's going to be great, <laughs> but we got to hit the website. So for tickets, yes. musiccitygp.com or race ticks, 1866 race ticks. So you got to get your, your seats. We're, we're off to a great start with our early sales and it's going to be, we're going to have music all weekend out of the super speedway. So we're going to have the iHeart Country stage. We're going to have all kinds of incredible activation. So it's going to be a fantastic weekend, September 13th through 15th. Come and hang with us. Um, I know I said that was my last question, but I did get another question. Yeah, everybody upstairs is very excited. Oh, Any support races that yes. people can be a part of or watch? Great or question. So the feeder series for IndyCar is called Indy Next. They will be in town. And uh, there's one other surprise we're working on. There's a, a big fan favorite with the stadium super trucks. We're going to bring the stadium super trucks back. Those things are unreal, total fan favorite. They fly through the air 50 oh feet, gosh. and people are just amazed by it. So we're, there won't be any minutes wasted, I guarantee you. Clearly, there's a lot of fan favorites here in this building right this second. Thank you so much for being Thanks here, for Scott. Me. Get your tickets now. It's going to be amazing. As Scott said, visit musiccitygp.com. And a big